Real VNC, a remote access software which supports platforms like Windows, Mac OS, Linux, and Raspberry Pi. Real VNC has two types of access like enterprise device access and professional device access. Now let's see how direct connections work in Real VNC. This video is brought to you by Software Horsepower. In Real VNC, direct connectivity is only available with an enterprise subscription. Direct connectivity option will not be there. If the license is a professional device access, one must have the license of enterprise subscription, then the direct connectivity option is available. A direct connection is the one that you broker yourself without endpoints having to phone home to real VNC cloud service. One must know the IP address or host name of the remote computer. At the moment one wants to connect to and will likely need to reconfigure intermediate firewalls and routers. Now, let us see the set of instructions for direct connection. To establish a direct connection, step one will be, one has to make sure that direct connectivity option is enabled on the remote computer you want to control. And step two is, on the local computer or mobile device you want to control from. Enter the IP address or host name of the remote computer in the VNC view search bar here. One don't have to sign in here, just have to enter the IP address or host name. So this is how a VNC viewer looks like. The IP address to be entered here. So now step 3 would be to authenticate to the VNC server running on the remote computer. The password you enter depends upon the subscription type you have. Let's see how to enable direct connectivity on a remote computer. One must enable direct connectivity on each remote computer you want to control. One can do this when you have a VNC server license. Here, if you sign into the VNC server at install time using your real VNC account credentials, simply follow up the in-app instructions. If one enters a license key, direct connectivity is automatically enabled. One can check whether direct connectivity is enabled for a computer by examining the VNC server dialog and checking the IP addresses. So this is what a VNC server looks like. Here, one can check the different IP addresses. One can check whether direct connectivity is enabled or not using these IP addresses. Now let's see how to set up a direct connection over a local network, be it LAN or VPN. Here, you will need a remote computer to control a local device to control from. Here, step one where it is mentioned as a remote computer to control this will be the VNC server, and a local device to control from this will be the VNC viewer. One needs to make sure that both, the VNC server and viewer are connected to the same local network. Now the next step is to download a VNC server to the computer, which one wants to control into an enterprise subscription. Step 2 is, that one needs to use a VNC server, to look up the private internal IP address of the computer. Step 3, would be to download the VNC viewer to the device which we want to control from. Step 4, is to enter the IP address in the VNC viewer to establish a direct connection. Step 5, is to enter the username and password you typically use to log on to a VNC server computer. So let's see, setting up a direct connection over the internet. Both devices should be connected to the internet. Make and model your router. Now the next step is to, configure the VNC server computer's firewall to add an exception, and, configure the VNC server computer's router to forward port. Look up the VNC server computer's public external IP address. Enter the public IP address VNC viewer to establish a direct connection. Enter the username and password you typically use to log on to a VNC server computer. So these are the steps to establish your direct connectivity in real VNC. Contact Software Horsepower to book a demo. Visit softwarehorsepower.com.